Hello, I'm Vivian. Welcome to my channel. And I want to discuss um, emotional eating, overeating, binge eating. Um, uh, I confess, that's definitely, food is my drug of choice. And there is, it, it, it is a physiological thing. It does, while you're eating uh, good food, junk food, some junk and some, some foods definitely, you know, like chocolates does have a serotonin um, medicating type quality and the sugar also gives you that rush and and feel good that um, sugar also hits the same spot that cocaine works on in the brain that's kind of interesting if you stop and think about it my frog egg smoothie I talk about in the intermittent fasting um, basically it's a pineapple coconut milk with chia seeds <laughs> and I call it my frog egg smoothie It's a comfort thing. Uh, this has uh, no added sugars. It's just the natural pineapple, which is high in sugar, and so is the coconut. And then I did use some uh, coconut water to kind of thin it out because it was very, very thick. And with the chia seeds and everything in it. But it, it is comforting. I like to cook. I get compliments for my cooking more than anything else. And I love that. I love, I love to feed people. If you come, if you visit me, I'm going to bring out some food, whether it's a, a meal time or not. I'm going to bring out something and serve you something to drink or eat, snack on, and more than likely, I'm going to feed you a full meal because that's me. That's what I do. But with the recent injury and certain things that were coming up this um, this month, there's a lot of emotional things going on too. Some of it I realized ahead of time, and some I didn't realize until after I was already stuffed in my face, because I wasn't hungry. It was definitely not a matter of, uh, since I've cut out high fructose corn syrup, I don't have that constant hunger, constant need to eat. That's gone. Now, it's a habit. You know, when you go through two decades of being constantly hungry, it's hard to all of a sudden go, okay, I don't need to be eating anything right now. And then knowing that, um, and then once I start eating, it's like the floodgates are open and I'm just eating until time to stop eating, <laughs> seven o'clock. Um, so it's something I really struggle with. It's something that um, I'm considering, uh, a friend of mine told me she belongs to overeaters, which kind of surprised me. But I, I never thought about joining such a group. Maybe I'll learn something there that I haven't pieced together for myself. So that's something that's on my um, things to do this month. I'm, I've got so much going on this week and this coming weekend that I, I'm not going to add anything else to. And that's, that's a lot of the, the, the feeling overwhelmed is when I eat. Because then, then I feel like when I'm eating, I can stop doing anything else. I, I, I try not to eat and do other things. Um, maybe watch videos. That's it. But I have to sit down and I'm, I can't do other things while I'm eating. And that's my break. So sometimes maybe that's my way of saying I need to take a break and not have to eat something. Um, I was going to go to a, a knitting uh, group meeting and the Saturday it was on a Monday night and the Saturday before is when I cut myself and I couldn't I couldn't do any I couldn't crochet even though you, you crochet with one hand you need this hand to, to tension out the uh, yarn so I missed out on that um, and then I punished myself on top of that when I and you know when you're punishing yourself with food even if the food is on the healthy end of the spectrum it's still, it's, it's a very warped thing to do. And I'm realizing that it, it was just, it was just, um, and there was a lot of things with food um, um, that's emotional based for me. Um, that's how my mom told me she loved me. She'd feed me. She'd cook something for me. She was not a, growing up, she was not, it wasn't just me, it was to the rest of us, all my siblings, and you know, it wasn't, she never just, you know, said, I love you. 
She was never affectionate in that way. She fed us that that was her way. That was literally her way of saying, I love you. So missing her puts me on an eating bench. <laughs> And, I, I, and when you start connecting the dots and go, oh, okay, that's, you know, she can't cook for me ever again. And I can honor her in ways without hurting myself. You know, even, you know, I can be, I can be chomping down on oranges or grapefruit. Um, you know, I bought oranges and grapefruit this past weekend. And that's what we're snacking on. That's still a lot of calories. That's still... Um, not a good way to binge but you know it's better than eating a whole box of oreo cookies they're not even my favorites but i've done that in the past <laughs> what was what was i thinking i wasn't it was all emotional it was, it was uh overreacting to something and i'm trying to deal with that uh, do you do you have idea do you have suggestions is this something you deal with is this um do you belong to an overeaters anonymous or um, any I know I, I, I know people join Weight Watchers and things like that for their weight but sometimes it's not and it's not lack of control um, there are certain things I know I've got control over and then other things I don't care about controlling I'm having fun with it and it's my little rebellion or my little shtick or you know whatever you want to call it but maybe there's some things I need to um, rethink and relearn and that's what this you know this is what it's about um, even though my scales did not go up I stayed um, even with the binge eating I did the last couple of weeks I'm, my scale has not gone up and my um, waist feels per clothes if there, it's gotten smaller I'm not as bloated not saying that I should binge eat and I always thought it was kind of weird that the days I would have chocolate the, the next day I actually weighed less than the days I didn't have chocolate I mean I'm not having a big thing of chocolate but having my little treat just to relax myself and I don't know this is weird I can't figure it out, but I'm trying. I'm not giving up. And I just wanted to share, get caught up with some of these things that I've been pondering and dealing with this past week, a uh, couple of weeks. So, uh, next week I will look into overeaters and report back on that, what I can. If it's an anonymous thing, I understand, you know, share what I'm learning for myself. And see if it helps anybody else. Let me know what you think. Give me a comment. And in the meanwhile, be a blessing and be blessed.